All right, so let's get into some Battle Royale tonight. Uh, starting rotation, Joe Kelly, Tommy Malone, Irvin Santana, Andrew Albers, and Edinson Volquez. I think it's a pretty decent rotation. Uh, obviously, I did not build for a rotation, but I think I ended up with a pretty decent one. Uh, yeah, it's not bad, especially the Volquez. I like the Volquez a lot. You know what? I like Santana. Uh, a lot of people aren't going to agree with me on this. I love Santana's pitch mix. Um, I got him in my Orioles franchise as well. I love the motion he gets on his pitches. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I also have. Uh, I also like. I like the Joe Kelly. He's got the sinker, a couple a couple fastballs, change up in a curve. He's the one I won the first game with uh, in this bullpens. Uh, kind of trash. Uh, Jared Hughes, Matt Albers, Chase Shreven, Pat Light. He's never gonna get into a game for me. Uh, Boone Logan, uh, flashback Mark Melanson, and Fernando Rodney. Not the best, but hopefully this offense makes that bullpen unnecessary. Uh, we have Marcelo Zuna in center, Ian Desmond at short, flashback Joey Votto at first, flashback Ryan Braun in left, flashback David Freeze at third, uh, Jason Worth in right, Deanna Navarro behind the dish, and flashback Michael Viles at second. A lot of flashbacks. A lot of flashbacks. I'm absolutely okay with that. Uh, bench is kind of whack. Rajai Davis, Gregor Blanco, Max Kepler, Marwin Gonzalez, and Johnny Giovatella. No backup catcher. So, uh, Deanna Navarro is stuck. But he's not, he doesn't have terrible contact versus righties. So he's, he's going to play. Only thing right. I don't like, I may have drafted too many right handed hitters. Uh, my personal preference is left handed hitters. Uh, we're just going to hop into this, see what we can do. Can we get to 20? Maybe not. Should we go to Griffith Stadium? Probably not. I'm I'm hoping, you know what I'm seeing here? I'm seeing this. You're going to win the first game, and that cargo rookie is coming up as your sixth game. I, I really don't think that's going to happen. It's, it's uh, absolutely going to happen. Uh, pick a stadium. Minus, uh, minus a you know random what? classic. You know, minor, minor league fields. Go to uh, the minor league fields. I'm there. Um, go all the way down towards the bottom. Mm hmm uh, there's one, it's called Bay Park. I want to see you in Bay Park. Bayfront Park? That's the one. With the, uh, s I got a roller coaster and a Ferris wheel. That's what I like to see. This does actually kind of look a lot like, uh, the Staten Island Yankees field. And apparently they're building the world's largest Ferris wheel out there. Nice. I, I, I love this. I love this field for some reason. You're going to hate me because I, I ranted against you so hard early in this year. I love the minor league stadiums now. Thank you. I finally. love every one of them. Yep. Love uh, them. Can I get a time of day and year? <laughs> On June 27th, 2016, at 11.30 p.m., Millennium uh, admits his love for the minor league stadiums. Uh, well, for that, I'm going to go with June, but 11 a.m. Clear skies. Full hearts. Can't lose. Is that any oh, yes. Guess what? Never seen that show. I think that's close to what the line is. It's pretty close, I guess. What's it? Full something? Uh, clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose, I think. Great. What time My screen just came up. My screen just came up with a Milwaukee and Dodgers exhibition game, like in the autoplay. And I looked at it and go, what are you doing? Why are we in a major league stadium? And then I looked up and went, oh, wait, I'm looking at the screen. Best part about this? This team is built to mash lefties. Little known fact. You know why? I feel like everybody's drafting lefties now. Guess what? Uh, that's the move, I think. This dude's about to get bopped. What do you know about Marcelo Zuna? He crushes left-handed pitchers. This whole lineup crushes left-handers. Uh, CB, do me a favor. I know you're in the chat, CB5. Do me a favor. Uh, whisper, whisper me your YouTube channel. Huge fan of CB4. CB4. No, we CB5. There's nobody on that roller coaster. This whole thing's a sham. <laughs> I'm playing against the Taiwan Bomb Squad with their uh, pink and green jerseys. Sweet. I'm home rocking my uh, – he's college world. I'm rocking my dope Coastal Carolina jerseys. Dude, I love the Coastal Carolina jerseys. We got Joe Kelly on the mound. With the glasses. I'm going to tell you guys right now. Um, so CB5 is one of the top – oh, my God, there's pink and green jerseys. Wow. Yeah. If he's in there, See, you just click on his name. Uh, it's, the link is on his page. Right, right. That's his... Oh, is it? Okay, cool. Uh, I believe he's got the YouTube link in there. Probably. That could be completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's there. Look at these fire jerseys I made. 
I do. They remind me of like the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars too. You know, that's what I I noticed that when I was making them. And then at some point, someone's like, "Oh, is that the Mariners green?" I was like, "You know, it would have been a lot easier if I just used the Mariners green." <laughs> I just handpicked this random green color or this turquoise. All right, one down. See, when you got the sinker, I like to just remind them that I can throw it up and in heat. He's probably gonna hit a home run and make me look like a fool, but yeah. So guys, the link I just threw up in the chat uh, is Cardo Bird's YouTube page. Uh, one of the top show gamers there is. I want to say he's like top five right now. Am I crazy? He's easily top five. Uh, I think mostly the reason that he is not top two is because he doesn't get to play as much as a lot of those other guys. If you look at like games played, I think he's behind in terms of games played, which, I mean, real life gets in the way. You do what you got to do. But uh, it absolutely shares his knowledge on YouTube with tips. So another guy in the community, again, that I like to... Uh, you know me. I'm, I'm I'm a shill. I love putting out good content and sharing it. That's one of the best right there. So go subscribe to his YouTube page if you don't already. All right. So fast guy on first. We got to work him with with throwovers and mixing up the pitch counts, and then hope he just runs to second base for no apparent reason, and then just throw him out of second. That worked out well for me. Yeah. Uh, slide step is good. By the way, don't forget to throw over. Oh, never mind. I'm, I'm seeing, but throwing over affects jumps as well. Um, if you are do if they're doing the auto jump. Yeah. Uh, I was, uh, was it the, if you go to my, uh, my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash that sports gamer, go check that out. Link in the chat. Uh, I had a comeback video like from two nights ago, I think, or maybe last night. Yep. The one highlight not in that video is when I threw out the guy's 99 speed catcher or 99 speed created guy with uh, Jared Saltalamaki. Is Five there seven. anything better than throwing out those high speed guys that just you think are auto steals that were last year that aren't this year? No, that's that might be the greatest thing. I can't. And the funny thing is, I think it was I played a Kenny Lofton. Um, I'm trying to remember who my catcher was. It, I think it was just a. Oh, you know who it was? <laughs> It was Austin Hedges. I, I got into a Battle Royale game uh, draft where I got caught with a gold catch or a bronze catcher that I couldn't get out of. And Austin Hedges is only like a 75 arm strength and still threw out Kenny Lofton because I paid so much attention to him. It was so it was so satisfying. Nice. This guy's already uh, changed his starting pitcher. It's funny, last year, I forget who was stealing. Someone fast, might have been Kenny Lofton, uh, threw him out with a slide step from Phil Necro, throwing a fastball. Nice. Ooh. Thought I was going to get all that one. What are your feelings on shoulder stripes on jerseys? Uh, <laughs> what do you mean, like the pinstripes? No, 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 not like the pinstripes, like the... So you know how they have the stripes on the bottom of the sleeves? I'm talking about mm -hmm. the, shoulders, the shoulder stripes on the top of the sleeves on a solid colored jersey. You're talking like a, like a Pirates kind of thing? Kind of, yeah. Uh, or like a Rockies, more like a Rockies, is what you're saying. More like the Rockies thing. You know how they have like so this whole sleeve is black, but don't they have like a another? They have like a stripe up there as they well, like a gray, another color, a gray stripe. Right. Uh, mm, I'm gonna say I don't love it. I'm not gonna say I hate oh, it. Oh, ball! Just throwing the ball around. Oh, this guy's this guy's gonna quit. I, feel, I smell a quitter coming. Uh, Jaco3456 in the chat. He's got 20,000 stubs and needs a second baseman and a center fielder. Uh, Jaco, do you mind telling me your current second baseman and center fielder? Wow. <laughs> Hopefully it's not the guy that's in center field for this team. Ah, drop it, please. Just screwed up. I, I think Cano's a great investment. Um... Ugh, the fact that I got... First off, I'm going to say I'm upset at the fact that I got one run out of that. Uh, but the fact that I got any runs out of that when I played pretty terribly is okay, I guess. Cargo always terrifies me when I got a right-handed pitcher going against him. Yeah, he probably should. I like to I like to throw a lot of change-ups to a cargo. Yeah, Jay I, Young's got a great um, suggestion for Jayco. I love you me get, and Matt Carpenter. Jay Young is right. Yep. You get yourself a Matt Carpenter, who is in primary second base right now. Uh, you get yourself Jimmy Edmonds, who you can move to first base if you end up getting another center fielder at some point. 
And yeah, it was pretty good. I think Rosenthal's probably going to get back up at some point. Oh, a good. Oh, I love this. NT2K. What's going on, my man? A good catcher prospect in franchise. Good sir. Good sir. Oh, Let's talk. Killing me. Ugh. So I moved that Ryan Braun to left, and he just took a nasty shot to the head. Mm. Oh, no. Uh. So one of the other underused features of franchise mode, if you are in the main screen, you go over to league, the league tab in the top right is acquisitions. You can go into there, the player search um, and actually do searches like you do for Diamond Dynasty players. So um, you can actually search for based on any one of the stats. So right now I'm doing a search in franchise mode for primary position catcher. Um, max age 25. Let's see here. Let's throw that potential rating up on that. Um, his max is a 99. His minimum is going to be, let's make it 85. Let's see what kind of search we're looking at. Um, so some of the guys that I tell you to look at current Cubs catcher, Wilson Contreras, uh, is a 59 overall, but an a potential also is a secondary of first base. Philadelphia Phillies, 22-year-old Jorge Alfaro, also first base, A potential, um, currently 60 overall. Gary Sanchez of the Yankees, who you might be able to get if they're winning. Um, they, he's one of their trade parts because of McCann. Big strikeout right there, folks. And let's see here. Couple other guys. Mike Zanino of the Mariners is a B. I like Christian him. Vasquez. Christian Vasquez mentioned in the chat by Justin Dixon. Or I'm sorry, by Leo Arase. Arache is what I'm gonna call him. Um, Vasquez is a good defensive catcher. Kevin Plowecki of the Mets you can go for. Uh, Austin Hedges, again mentioned in the chat. Tony Walters, which I think is gonna be a little harder to get from the Rockies. Um, because of their catching situation with just having Hundley at 33. Chance Sisko, a great contact catcher for the Orioles. Zach Collins in the White Sox organization. That's really all I'd be comfortable. Maybe Matt Tice, who just got drafted from the Angels. Uh, that's as far as, that's as comfortable as I'm uh, uh, going to say in terms of overall to that. Uh, Cardinals collection should cost you less than 20 grand. Yes. I just... Okay, so this guy brought in uh, Brett Gardner to pinch hit, and he hit a ground ball off my pitcher to drive in. Yeah, their, their one gold should be Matt Carpenter. <laughs> yeah. I will. You know what I'm going to check right now? Tell me what site I'm going to check. DaddyLeagues.com slash DD slash 16 slash missions. Guys, go Link in on the chat. I did before I got to it. <laughs> Drew Smiley in the game for my opponent. Is it the... Oh, it's the relief pitcher, Drew Smiley. My favorite. It's all right. I got Jay Worth, who's going to crush him. Uh, let's see. The current... Get down. ...total yes. cost of the Cardinals collection is 18K. I already said this. Welcome... Welcome to the conversation. You said less than 20. I mean, it's... Hey, man. Actually, going to be less than 18 if you think about it. Oh, yeah. That's just the normal. That's the estimated cost. You'd probably get it for less if you are very much... Um... Got to be frugal. Yes. Like of the gourmet. Man, I'm looking at these collections I'm going to have to do to get this camp. <laughs> Not having a fun night. Oh, so if I do... If I get this camp, Damn I'm going to get... I'm going to get the Marishal... The Bumgartner and the Posey from the Giants. Some good players. Uh, I'm going to get... Well, I already did the Padres and the Diamondbacks. I'm going to get the Arenado and the Jimenez from the Rockies. That Jimenez is so sick, by the way. Uh, and Ooh. then I'm going to get, obviously, Kershaw, Jansen, and Hershiser from the Dodgers. Oh. Oh. Mike Aviles puts a charge into one. But it does it. Warning track power. Anyone? Cargo oh, each your own assessment isn't the best other corner outfielder. Um, I'd say Cargo against righties, but then he's not going to hit lefties, so you're going to have to have another guy. Uh, All right, here's let me let me break down this little. This I'm going to have to pinch it for Joe Kelly, 
Best contact versus lefty, Rajai Davis. Not going to hit with him because I want that speed if necessary later on. Going to go Marwin Gonzalez. Yeah, Marwin Gonzalez is the move. It's a tough choice. But Marwin Gonzalez is the play. I do like Gio Vitelli. He's got a little more power prospect for that lefty too. But Or no, I'm sorry. Uh, higher contact. Oh, that's the righty. Never mind. I had him mixed up with somebody else. The flashback Crawford is very good. His arm is terrible. Great leadoff guy. Yep. I'm going to work this guy. And I think He's going to walk me. Rays, I think the Rays collection is, is dirt cheap at this point, isn't it? Because Archer just got a... Yeah, he went down a bunch. Yeah, Rays, Rays collection you get for 23K. Yeah. Oh, another pop, up, pop, pop. Drop it. Drop it, fool. Drop it. All right. I do like mm, corner outfielder. I'm trying to think about what kind of range are you looking at ASAP? Like uh, price range. Mm, 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 mm. What am I doing here? Chase Street can come in the game. I like Dexter Fowler. Good speed, good contacts, and power. Phil Goslin. Hmm. Oh, you know what? You know who you can put in there? Michael Brantley. Michael Brantley is a beast. A certified beast. Michael Brantley could play for you. Um, although, I think the, Car the Crawford's going to cost you upwards of 20k, depending on who you have already. Um, Who's my shortstop? Ian Desmond. Showing off the arm. In the, the only other person I could say is, you know, you can get Christian Yelich. Uh, you don't get the power. J.D. Martinez. JD Martinez could hit lefty. Oh, you know what? JD Martinez could be a great. Healy is gonna. That's great. Some were JD Martinez is the end. hero. Yep. JD Martinez is the end of conversation. Love him. Uh, you know what? Can I continue the conversation? Sure. Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts is pretty good. What is it? What is his cost right now? A couple of G's. Hmm. It's not a bad call. Ooh, where you going, son? This guy thought he was going to tag up from second. Contact versus lefties over 85. Let's look at this. Um, Adam Duvall. Oh, who are we talking about here? Brian Braun. Braun's a beast. I mean, you get Braun for 9,000 stops. What's, depending on your range of what you're looking at, um, you could do Ryan Braun. As a left fielder, um, see cargo. You... And the nice thing about Betts, uh, yes, he does have a harm, horrible arm, but great hitter. Also gets you center field, second base, all sorts of extra eligibilities, and great speed. He said uh, his defense is lackluster. ASAP, I love it when talk defense to me all night. Uh, let's see here. No, they're talking about in right field though. I know what he's. I know what he's talking about, Jay. So he has Ichiro and Cespedes. And he's thinking of another corner outfielder that has to have a good arm, but also plays well. Um, but can can go with cargo. Don't blow this, Azuna. Don't blow this. Feather it. Feather it. I mean, you could technically do if you if you're looking for budget, you could technically look at Ichiro, who has a 90 contact first lefties. Um, and but you already have no mind. You already have the Ichiro, right? All right, listen up. We're going bottom three. One one. Yeah, you've already got the diamond Ichiro. If he brings in Chris uh, Sale, you know it's game over, folks. How attached are you to buying now? Um, you could buy. I would say, for the time being, get yourself the Matt Kemp eighty two flashback from the Dodgers 25 man collection. Look, can we stop? The answer is J.D. Martinez. Dude's got a I mean, it is. It is. The answer is J.D. Martinez. But... We're, just, we're just making up stuff now. The answer is J.D. Martinez. I'm just Martinez. making your... Next yeah, question. Yeah. Next question. And then build towards the Tony Gwynn and the San Diego collection. Listen, everybody has an Ichiro. Stop using the Ichiro. You're not cool because you have an Ichiro. I literally played seven straight teams with Ichiro. And you know what? I beat the majority of them. And you know what? The ones that 
the only ones that beat me with Ichiro were because of Millennium's dumb flare this crap controller thing. <laughs> Listen, the flare thing in the outfield is real. Okay? Jeff Francoeur has a cannon. I need Jeff Francoeur. Oh, you're going to keep talking about these Braves. Thanks, Jayon. Let me get that Chipper Jones. All right, this guy's keeping lefty in against Marcelo Zuna. GG. Ball one. That Drew Smiley is sweet. Bottom three. One, one. Can Marcelo Ozuna, Erasmo Ramirez, into pitch? Ozuna still plays. Decent enough contact. I kind of want to bump. You said this is offset, Cam? This is offset. Hmm. I don't know why his guy just dove in center field. I hope he bounces one off his forehead, though. He does not. Yeah, I don't even have the Ichiro. The, the 93, I didn't grind for him. I, I was grinding for other things. I grind. <laughs> they do that sometimes. Uh, when you get like, a pop-up like that, you'll see him jump or something just to mess around. Um, another pop-out. Another pop-out. Need a solid hit here. We got Joey Votto up. Do I power swing? That's a big PCI to power swing with. Wow, I didn't know that. CB5 says Ozuna's third in war for the NL. He's a beast. That's insane. He's I mean, he's having a beast year. Dude's got a left-handed shortstop. Shoot me. What? Who's at shortstop for him? I don't know. Some lefty shortstop. When did he post on Reddit, Larry? <sighs> Damn it. Uh, if you want to... If you want to send me the link, you're more than welcome to. I'll post it in the chat. I'm going there now. Mark Melanson. I'm just going to keep throwing this guy change-ups. Uh, let's see this. Oh, there we go. I got it. No cutter for the flashback Melanson. Was it a post on Reddit or was it just the post? To the no, link? no, he posted two hours ago on Reddit. I'm trying to link it now. Oh, there it is. Copy link address into the chatter. So I'm going to read this while you're doing this. Okay, you ready for this? Um, so Victor posted on a, now it's going to be about three hours ago. So I'm going to guess right around 830. Folks, I've been, and this is in a thread on Reddit. This is not a new thread this is a thread called called banned and don't know why um where guys were talking about they didn't know why they were tweeting about it folks i've been running around the office all day here is the issue there was an exploit related to canceling transactions on the marketplace if someone took advantage of this exploit egregiously their id would have been flagged and banned flipping cards on the market is not an offense buying and quick selling is not an offense I, it had more process Speaking than Speaking of that quick canceling. selling thing, a lot of people sell cards for less than 10 stubs, and apparently they don't realize that 10 stubs is a quick sell. Yeah. Um, this is this is the key line here. It had more process than just canceling an order. So this exploit was more than just being on two devices at once and canceling a spot. Or maybe it was the two devices, so that's that's the only thing he posted. I'm going to say I don't know. That is I mean it's pretty self explanatory. It's not anything new that um it's not anything new that we haven't heard before. It's just it, now we're saying that and it's he's saying specifically it was related to canceling transactions in the marketplace. Someone to, and this is another key thing for me. If someone took advantage of this exploit egregiously, that states to me that this isn't a one time thing. This is something that people did multiple times. Get up, get up. Ground rule double. Bottom four. Ground rule double to start the inning. Do I bunt? I'm not going to bunt. I try to shoot at Oppo with uh, Jason Worth. Can you, you make it? No, no, that's that's it. I I, I think, um, I will say that I think that 
if people legitimately did not do this, I, I, they, they will probably reverse some of the bans. Oh, yeah. That being said, we're all on the internet, guys. Um, I know there are a lot of people that are sticking up for people. Who knows? No one knows in the in the privacy of your own home. Who knows? I, if if you knew you could get a million stubs and didn't think anyone was going to catch you, maybe you did it. So I don't know who's third. Is that center fielder is? But we're testing this arm. Uh, Cardinal Bird Five said in the chat. I've, I've seen you say it on Twitter too. I, I'm not saying that you're wrong, and I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm just saying that this does not seem like something they just did willy nilly. The, every time they've talked to somebody on Twitter about it, it's been we check this information over and over. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. I gr uh, one thing I do say is that I think that if SCEA made a mistake on any of these guys, I think they'll be reinstated. Game. Gapper with Mike Aviles. Love uh, his contact. Ace, let's see here. Should I do the, Leo says, should I do the innings for the Brewers? Absolutely. That Prince Fielder is a beast. And I love the, uh, uh, the John Axford. Oh, yeah. The Axford is also a, good, a really, really good bullpen arm. ASAP. But the problem is, is how many people did they ban? I don't think... I, I agree. Um, well, I'll, I'll go to ASAP and then Cardinal Bird. ASAP says he thinks SDS had a sensitive algorithm. Maybe. Um, but it, they didn't ban that many people. I, I guarantee they didn't just ban people on the algorithm. So. Pick another stadium for me. Uh, my, new, another, my, my new reward is uh, Steve Ciszek. I don't mind C-Check. Not bad. Red you know, Rocks. Do Red Rocks. You know, I love Capital Field. That's why I'm not giving Capital Field. Red Rocks. Is that a real option? Red Rocks Stadium. Yep. What? Pick a time. Give me a day. Uh, 1 p.m. Where? When? Uh, August. Augusto. Augusto. Clear skies, clean hearts. Can't win. Wait, what? <laughs> Uh, Cindy, I, I think you might be right. I, I do think that there may have been some people accidentally, quote unquote, accidentally banned. But I don't believe people that went on the Reddit and they were like, ASAP says a lot of people on Reddit were complaining about being banned. You're seeing a vocal minority. Um, apparently, it was less than 1%, 1 of people. So. Granted, don't we don't know anything. Yeah, we don't, know the, we don't know the numbers. We don't know anything like that. I would think. You know, I thought I saw that somewhere on Twitter that it was less than one percent of people the banned. Um, <laughs> you know, Rebel per know personally and talk quite a bit. Yeah. Well, the problem is, and you know, Cardinal says that they're handling it kind of poor. The problem is, is that they can't they handle can't it in anything, public. Yeah. yeah, they're not going to be able to say anything in public. All of it's going to get fixed over email. So, yeah. They said, oh, they said they banned only 1% of the people that actually use the exploit. Well, let's ban the other 99%. <laughs> I'm out here grinding my ass off, not getting anything. No, no, CB5, I'm saying they banned one per less than 1% of all players, not the people that use the percentage. Bandgate update. Not the, ex not the exploited people. I'm talking about the... Uh, Oh, they did, Larry. Wow. That's insane. I was not aware of that. Larry Hova says, Ramon says they banned people who were in the top percentage of the exploiters. Oh, okay. So what he's saying is people that use the exploit, for they lots. banned, yeah, for lots of money, not just for hey, once or twice. Joe Kelly again on the hill. Love it. I don't know. Like I said, I agree with Cardinal. I, I agree with you that people may have been accidentally banned. Um, but like I said, I think those people will be reinstated if they were. I also see that a couple people tweeted Ramon and Ramon came back with exact stats to him. So, uh, I mean, what he said one guy did it for over a million stubs. And then the guy came back and was going all over Twitter about Oh, well, I spent $900 on stubs. Well, it doesn't matter what you spent. <laughs> it matters what you did. So. Ugh, 3-1 count. All right, I need to pay attention to this game. You need this, yeah, pay attention. I'll worry about 
the the band hammer stuff. <laughs> oh, I thought you walked that guy. Yeah, yeah. It's. No, I, didn't. I think the real story here is that it is unfortunate that what's going on, Snake Sixteen Doctor, Snake Doctor in the house. Always give that man a follow. I think he's doing a home snake home run derby, right? We're doing a home run derby. Uh, in you have to if you win a home run derby during one of Snake's streams, you get entered into a massive home run der- derby the day of the home run derby in July. It's kind of cool. So give him a follow so you can get involved in that. Uh, we were just saying. I think the real story here is not just the people that may not have been legitimately banned, but the fact that they had to ban people for this. I mean, I get it. It's an all gaming. It's an all sports gaming. It's unfortunate. So. Also check with their little brothers to see if they did while they were behind their backs. (laughs) I've, I've heard that one in Madden. Oh, I didn't do it. Like my little cousin came over and he like did something one day on my console when I wasn't paying attention. And then I got banned. It's like, I don't know how it happened. I can't tell you how many times on OS people have said, people have said to me, I didn't post that. It was my little brother. <laughs> I was like, well, I mean, guys, what do you want me to do? You can ban his little brother. I'm a, I, yeah, there you go. I banned your little brother. You just happen to get caught on that. No, I mean, it's... Uh, like I said, I think the whole thing is, is unfortunate that the bannings had to happen in the first place if it was um well here now now snake is going to say this and i'm going to argue this point right now snake says the lack of transparency is the worst part they're not going to come on twitter and talk about it publicly that's that no company will ever you're uh, ea won't do it 2k won't do it they won't talk about what the problem was they will talk expl- the people that earned the explanation or not earned it that deserve the explanation of the people that got banned and if they email they will get an explanation uh, they they answer those support site emails pretty regularly I believe and I know the they're sh- pretty swamped and I believe the, the email is uh, the show at playstation.sony.com there you go so I don't think that like even us as community I, I, I say community leaders but the guys who are more prominent I agree with that. Snake just said it. They owe the people who were banned an explanation. I agree with that. Um, but he's not going to... Yeah, not on Twitter, on email. Nice throw, by the way, to right field. Yeah, but let it run. Yeah. I As agree. I say, you, always, you have to score a run to win, right? So Yes. And uh, I just got it back. So we're good. So, Snake, I agree. Not on Twitter. It has to happen over email. This is The, the bans just happened today, so... I know some people talked about whoa. Um, I know some people talked about they're having email conversations back and forth with some of the dev- with some of the devs already. Hopefully that gets worked out. And you, know, the people- and you know it's not yeah. going to earn you any brownie points with the devs is posting that email on Twitter. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> don't do that. Don't don't go on, if you get an email from a dev, don't post it on Twitter. There it's pri- you know they're they're contacting you privately for a reason. Um, I'm playing like garbage with Joey Votto, just an FYI. I noticed that. But, but like I said, hopefully the people that were incorrectly banned get get reinstated. And hopefully, the, you know what? My big thing is if you were correctly banned, screw you. Yeah. I hope you spent $500 on the show and you can never pick up the online mode again. Jesus. Yeah, because all you're doing is making... If you did do it, all you're doing is making the market worse for everyone else. <laughs> Snake says, we want Mutt Guru. <laughs> that guy, if you ever look back to that guy's mentions, oh my lord. I, could, I uh, feel so bad. Yeah. Well, you, I mean, you know. You you definitely know. Yeah. Uh, being a community manager is not easy. He says, as he is the Out of the Park Baseball community manager, uh, if you guys haven't checked out Out of the Park Baseball 17 this year, uh, it is up on Steam and our website, OOTPdevelopments.com, uh, on the summer sale for $19.99. Highly recommend it. I was, I was about to say, it's on sale, and Franchise Hockey Manager is on sale, too, right? Franchise Hockey Manager is on sale for four ninety nine. Now, listen to this. Combo price. If you add 
and four ninety nine. What do you get? Twenty four ninety eight. If you go on Steam right now, it's like twenty two and change. Because I don't Steam know knows. how that happened, but <laughs> hey, do it. It works. Larry Hova, Mutt Guru, is still employed, and rightfully so. That guy does more work than you probably ever know. Uh, I'm gonna say he is. I want to say contracts might be coming up soon, so possibly. Yeah. I noticed they did put out a lot of uh, new uh, positions opening up. But I think they also are expanding the Madden team. Captains are absolutely trash this week. Uh, Scrub, this is the worst week for captains I've seen. By far. Can we send a... Oh, you know what? Do I have a Steam link for that? Well, here's the I trick. know you have it. If you go to OTP Developments, uh, you can use the... Pro, and you, If you buy it through OTPDevelopments.com, uh, you can use the promo code TSG17. Uh, for an extra 10% off, and that does come off the uh, off the sale price. Oh, really? Yeah. Only so, if you do it through the website, not through Steam. How much is it? How much more is it off? T- another 10%. Yeah, so Gary, uh, Cowbell, I mean... I get that, but Garrett Cole's been up there a couple times before. Is selling Bogarts and doing the Cardinals collection worth it if he has Pedroia at second? I like Pedroia at second a lot. Love Bogarts, though. Yeah, Bogarts is really good. Diamond and probably only going up. Well, the problem is, is that when you bought, when you do the Cardinals, if you're losing Bogarts at shortstop... Well, Leo, who is your shortstop? Well, Snake. I mean, <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna completely defend Ramon because you know he has a tough job. Being like I said, community manager is not a bad job, not a, not an easy job. But um, he can't. You know, he can't talk about a level fifty update. He, he's not allowed to. I mean, that's just the way it's gonna be. Uh, uh, Machado's not going back to shortstop because unless JJ Hardy gets hurt. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pom- I mean, Palma Hawk with the. Yeah. Uh, Canadian translation of the price. Seven, <laughs> seven, seven thirteen for hockey manager. I'm a coming up clutch. Palm Hawk, good people. Uh, OG, as some would say. I mean, I'm going to... He says... So, Snake says, Guru isn't soft like somebody else. I'm, I'm going to guess he's referring to Ramon. S-A-W-F-T. Um, I don't... I think I hate them. <laughs> Enzo and Cass? Yeah. You don't hate Enzo and Cass. Uh, I'm assuming this is the rookie Anthony Rizzo. Uh, faithful Faithful Nate got caught for time, five seconds for Caps, but he said he wishes they could talk about a level 50 update. They can't. Um, What's a level 50 update? If you if For the stores? For the captain stores. I mean, they've said that you know that there, there will be possibly stuff after level 30. They can't talk about it. I mean, Ramon obviously can't talk about it, so... They haven't announced anything. Uh, I mean, I I want to say don't get your hopes up. I could be wrong though. I think something's going to come. I mean, we're we're not even halfway through the season yet. Yeah, we've also we were. Speci- I'm talking specifically regarding the captain stores. We we're also told like, oh, there's going to be items that are only going to be in the captain stores. We well, see, I think that that might be what we're getting. Uh, yeah, TSG17 is the coupon code at OOT Park, OOTP Developments. John Navarro, the high pop-up. Uh, Diamond Miggy is in. Diamond Miggy is a no, thing. He, he means he, in the store. Oh, in the store? No, that's not going to happen. Oh, come on. Pay um, attention. So, my thing with the Captain store is, I think, my theory is like that we're going to be getting... Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get bombs off this dude. <laughs> uh, tell me, 15. Oh, so 4.04% of the online players is roughly 1,500 people. Kept this a secret since April. The legend glitch was spread like wildfire in a few hours. Oh, no, no. CB, just about the. So this is go, heading back to the, uh, to the talk about that. I, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Um,. So they said so roughly 1,500 people were banned today? Damn. Maybe? 
I've only seen like 20 people say something, so. I don't know. I, I really don't know, CB. No, you're you're right though. It's it's healthy to have conversation about it, but it's also uh, you have to understand that they can't talk about it publicly. Um, it's all all the answers are going to come via via email. So, you know what I haven't seen today? One person coming like, "Yo, I screwed up. I got busted. My bad." I I haven't seen that. I don't think you're ever going to see that. Uh, Leo Array says. Um, Bogarts was his shortstop. If he gets rid of him, he still has Seager. Seager's beast. Also, don't forget, I have I have confessed tonight that my hands are not clean. Uh, in Madden, <laughs> I did sell coins once. Just saying. <laughs> Keep talking about it. <laughs> I'm just 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 a reminder. CB five. I agree. Um, yeah. If if anyone was it was unjustly banned, I would absolutely hope that they be they, they were reinstated. Um, oh yeah. I hope they fix that. Uh, Super quick. I think it's just no, no. a game ban, right? Not a console. They, ban. no, it's a, it's a game ban. It's not a console ban. It's a game ban to for the show. Um, no, no, they said they fixed it because people have said they've tried it since then and they can't do it. They just can't. You can't talk about glitches like that. Like there was a glitch that just is coming to light in FIFA about chemistry of informed players. It's coming to light now. Shady. EA's Pretty never shady. going to admit to that. EA will never admit to that. That's just not what they do. The worst thing they'll do is, you know, hey, we're really happy the community found this. We're sorry about this. So be it. We're going to go boost these guys retroactively. Ian Desmond yeah. doing work, son. Do work. I should probably so, warm up. Probably warm up closer, huh? Don't even need a closer because now we're out of. Uh, yep. What's the point of bringing in that closer? Goodness territory. I love I love the, the Route 66 gas station and the bar being the thing. Uh, yes, you can make other accounts on the console. It's not a console ban. Um, you can you can get you can make another PlayStation account. And my use- my brother in law got a console ban on Xbox. Oh, really? Well, that's I mean that's different. He was doing you something with console uh, for. He was doing something with like NBA Two K. Oh, like a mod shit, maybe. No, it was like there was some glitch to hack your My Player or something, and he did it because he's an idiot. Faithful Nate says, Miggy is his favorite player ever. Do I think there's any way he will come out again so a poor person like him can get him? Um, I think your best bet is probably going to be just saving your stubs to get him. Mm-hmm. So Love me and Miggy. Wish he had any speed. What are you talking about, Leo? Uh, the question marks? I, like I said, if you've got... I, I think Seager is a beast. Um... You upgrade yourself in two or three other positions. I think that's okay. The gas house. Snake Doctor says the gas station was the logo for his uh, fantasy team. The gas house. You want to talk about the gas house, uh, TJ? No. (laughs) Anyway, moving on. Um, More Dog says FIFA this year was trash. Uh, I don't know. I liked career mode. I'm not a big ultimate team guy when it comes to FIFA. So. Uh, I have FIFA just wore me down Play best way to make <laughs> you ready for this <laughs> best way to make stubs <laughs> apparently canceling orders from the uh, console if you put it in with the playstation 4 <laughs> yeah no thought, um the answer is the not best... playing games because you make yeah, nothing playing i just made 77 answer, subs for that game the answer is absolutely flipping cards um go on to diamond or daddy leagues or do it on your own go into the market See what your see what sort, the largest differences. Yeah. Yep. Sort by profit, and pick then pick me another stadium. Profit. Well, or if someone in the chat another wants stadium? stadium. Yeah, man, we're crushing. This will be the last game. Ah, uh, last game. Okay. Um, give me a minor league stadium. Screw over. Um, just the greens. What? I do like Main Street though. Can I get one from the chat? Chat. Chat. Give me a. Uh, yeah, playing the Yukon Yetis is more for grinding innings. I don't think that's a great way to make stubs. I did, believe it or not, I was talking about how trash my uh, words have been. I did get Brantley after playing the Yetis. Oh, wait, you have the flashback dime? Oh, screw that. If you've got flashback Pedroia, why are you going to do the Cardinals? Oh, yeah. There you go. Uh, CB5 says that right, too. Challenge of the Week and Battle Royale can give you good rewards as well. Um, is, especially is if you play that? 
Yes. No. Um, okay. Battle Royale is really good if you can get cards you can sell. So CB5 is absolutely right about that, by the way. Bayfront, Bayfront, Bayfront. And he is the one to know. Yeah, we just Bay, Bayfront was the one, the one we played before. Give me a date and time. Is it the one we played before? God. Yeah, that was the one with this. <laughs> I'm telling you, people like the one. People like me. People like Millennium. I guess I'm going out. Mill is a man of a people. He also got Kershaw from a defense wins pack. You bastard. Oh, Snake got Stanton as an after game reward tonight. Dude, Snake, do you know that guy just started mashing after that upgrade? You got some, you got some, after that upgrade? You got some broke ass gold. Couldn't even get He's a diamond. Long. That, that dude just started raking this weekend. So Yeah, we'll see if it stays. Yeah, CB5 said he just did the Marlins collection um, because he just went down. That, hey, this is absolutely the time to do it before he goes back up. Late June? Sounds like it's a good time for him to hop back on that DL train. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Mike Stanton, great player. <laughs> the same guy. Huge fan of the Braves relievers. Oh, he sold him for 28k. Nice. Go buy him back. Snake, did I tell you by the way? There's a good chance I have Kemp by got, the end of the week. I got Edinson Volquez going for me today. I really wanted to do the uh, start doing the American League collection, but I don't think I mean I've already got you know a bunch of third basemen, and I don't really need a rod for that. A rod's beast though. Does he have second base ability? Detroit no, he's got all. No, no, he's a third baseman. I'm the away team playing at Petco Park. The AL, the AL collection is the Yankees third base version of him. Almost fell out of my chair there. I'm gonna let this guy throw me a couple balls before I start swinging. Guys, uh, if you want to work a pitcher, you know what you do? Just put your controller down. Just put it down. Just take a couple pitches. Don't even think about it. Don't even worry. I just took a strike down the middle of the plate. Am I sweating it? No. Because I just took ball two. Two, one count. I'm going to pick up the controller now. Is that a Royo pigeon for him? Yes, it is. Nice. And I just swung at some trash. I should have just left the controller on the ground. I do like Petco Park in this game. Petco is absolutely gorgeous in the game. I feel like I've been getting a lot more of the uh, ball not showing up in the same place as the feedback. Especially last night. It was bad. <laughs> Snake Doctor says Stalker is his main guy and Kemp is his side piece trying hard to be number one. The Kemp's a beast. I'm not going to lie. I know. Ball four. Marcelo Zuna working that walk. Wish he had more speed. Uh, agreed. Agreed, Cowbell. Uh, Cowbell says Cardinal Bird. He just wanted to tell CB5 that his pick and play series rocks. I'm also a fan. Yo, Ian Desmond, showing me something here, folks. Gomes, we don't have an official word on what it is. I think the the for what the Stubbs exploit is. I think the idea that we've all gotten behind is you put an order in on PS4. Um, you go into your PC and cancel it while you're still logged onto your PS4 and you get stubs back, something like that. Oh, Faithful, what, what, are, you, what are you putting money on tonight, buddy? <laughs> Desmond put one to the track and didn't get it out. Vado puts it into the bullpen. I'm going to take a screenshot of that bullpen since uh, it looks so good. I was saying that earlier, CB. You weren't here. Am I, am I right in saying you're one of the top ten players, but if you were to sort by games, you don't have as many games played as some of those guys? Um, I, I don't know. You're, you weren't here earlier when I was talking about it, but I saw. I remember looking through like the leaders of the World Series division and noticing that your innings weren't anywhere near what theirs were. So I said, I, I a lot of people were like, you know, he's a top five guy. I said probably top three, top two, considering. You know, you don't get to play as many games as they do. Am, am I right in saying that, or am I missing something? Ooh, threw it inside of me. Uh, one thing I do like about uh, MLB is if you are good, you will rise to that top of the leaderboard. But Madden, if you just play a lot of games, you'll rise to the top of the leaderboard. Yeah, and I think that was one of the things that they, they're trying to correct um, Matt Marco in their esports division. Is like with the whoa, <laughs> it's not happy. I, I don't know what this guy's trying to do. But very mad about that Vado home run. 
Yeah, um, so I think that's one of the things they're trying to change this year with like the draft champions and the salary cap, salary capped ranked. I think they're trying to whittle down who plays like a good, a good median between who plays the most and who in the win percentage. Yeah, CB5, CB5 agrees with you. He, he loves the, the way they work. A chess rating. Dude, you and I are going to have to go into like a Twitter DM at some point and have that explained. We should just play chess. <laughs> I meant, I meant CB5. I assume CB5 is good because I beat Jeeva, uh, Javo, so it's all good. You beat, you beat, didn't beat Javo. You beat Javo's extra endings team. No, uh, no, like last year I beat Javo. Oh, you played him like heads up, gotcha. Yeah, I play, I got matched up against him twice in a week. Larry Hova, we're not, I mean, I'm not going to talk too much about him. Hopefully, that's, hopefully all of that's fixed this year. He slapped me the first time, but I beat him the second time. Phil Necro, where they at? You know what I'd like to see, CB? I'd like to see a Battle Royale leaderboard. Like something along those lines. Because you're right. The DD is just sometimes about who has the better team. Battle Royale could probably level that out. Oh, I've got a mute button on my microphone and cough anyway. I am professional. I'm going to deuce this guy. Oh. We'll see, Larry. I mean, for Ultimate Team when Madden, I've, I'm have i self-professed that I don't play a lot of head-to-head. -head. Uh, TJ plays a ton of head-to-head -head compared to me. Yeah, until my um, team gets blown out by everybody, and then I go, nah, I'm yeah. right with this. <laughs> Uh, but for me, I for Madden Ultimate Team for me, I just love playing the offline stuff and collecting. So, Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, did not deserve that pitch. Yeah, I know. I mean, I know about the accolade, but I think I think you agree with me, uh, CB, that it would be awesome to have like a leaderboard specifically for BR with like you know records and ratings and stuff like that. I think that'd be cool. I'm curious how the matchmaking in BR happens because the rating that they give, the, the rating Ooh. search, this, is not the, it doesn't look like it's the Diamond Dynasty rating search. This guy is not loving this umpire. <laughs> I'm just going to keep going outside more and more and more. Oh, <sighs> wow. Jeez. He came a little inside of the next one. Hey, CB. CB, you ready for this? You ready for this, buddy? I wish it was a five-inning battle royal. Salary cap ranked for MLB Diamond Dynasty. But how do you... What, do you randomly pick numbers for guys? I don't understand how that whole thing works. No, you, sal you salary cap them based on rating, like like they did for Madden. Hmm. Interesting. Salary cap, salary cap ranked... Based on overall? Yep. Based. Well, not necessarily overall. Like I don't think Madden is all based on overall. Definitely not. I think there's yeah no their salary caps are based on individual ratings, so you take like your budget beasts and they they cost a little bit more. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's no no CB yeah uh, CB said he's talked about it already. I guarantee he's talked about it. CB's the Diamond Dynasty guy, so. Ugh, I'm making good contact. Just I gotta check the. Uh, I mean, they have it the Madden. They, it's gonna start showing up in all game modes now, especially if you want to get like an esports feel to that. Wind's blowing out. I didn't put that out. I'm very upset right now. <laughs> yeah, he's he's right. There's one tournament that CB said he hosted a tournament where it was limited to an 82 overall. There was a ton of variety in the lineups and tons of upsets. I'd be way more excited about that if I could actually have multiple squads, like, set up. Oh, yeah. I mean, that would be a must for that kind of thing. Oh, he got me all excited about doing that kind of stuff. That'd be so awesome to have like a like a silver, like say, like I said, eighty-two overall. You could put a diamond in there, but you better get the bronzes to back it up. Get out! And I got a non-warm pitcher. That's gonna be good. Yeah, you can. Use, I agree. The commons, you can do kind of the commons and put them on your bench and bullpen. Mound visit, Matt Albers. Bring your big ass in here. 
Agreed. I absolutely agree. They need a way to set like four or five different lineups, especially at the very least lefty righty. Like have a left left lefty and a righty lineup. Uh, I don't know about that. What do you mean? I would rather you have to use your 25 man to make your lefty and righty lineup. Oh, no, no. I don't mean like once you're already in game, so be it. Oh, uh, I get you mean you you're talking about before you get into the game. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Because I don't want it to be every time I play, play, well, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm Ramon saying. said, okay, so we got a guy in the chat. Johnny Flash 420 says, Ramon said I was banned for too many community market transactions. How many community oh, market CB5. transactions? Oh, CB5. You play a ton more online than I do, but I can't tell you how, how upsetting it is. Because I've got like three lefties in my Diamond Dynasty lineup. How many times people back out and I'm like, come on. I mean, I would run a Diamond Dynasty tournament, a, a, a Diamond Dynasty tournament. That just seems like a lot of work. I'll leave that all. So, so Johnny, here's my question, and, and this is a this is a place of safety, <laughs> all right? <laughs> this is a complete place of uh, you, you can feel safe here. Did you do anything that might not be deemed kosher on the community, um, like? possibly I don't know canceling orders and gaining stubs off of it that's my that's my question I mean did you do anything that you got stubs off of that may not be considered right if so follow the channel what I'm telling them to follow your channel See, I'm trying to get the people to follow. Hey, even if you did do it wrong, follow the channel. I, I'm curious. I mean, seriously, I'm, I'm curious. Oh, yeah, it's so annoying. <laughs> Shut up, Snake, you idiot. <laughs> the worst part was I was, I think I was doing a Battle Royale on stream not too long ago, and I was trying to trying to uh, like meditate while I was doing it so not to get, get upset. I have a tendency to rage a little bit when I swing at terrible pitches. It happens a lot. I know, especially when we play. Bam! What if it was a long-running gag that I always beat you on stream? Uh, that wouldn't be a gag. I pretty much lose all the time on stream. That's true. I don't think, I seriously don't think no, I lie. I won my Rockies uh, we did Rockies opening day this uh, yesterday. For 2018, and I won 12 to 7. Hey, congratulations! Yeah, no kidding, right? Getting off the season on a good start. We, we won against Granky too. Musa, <laughs> I 100. I was like, we're in a safe place. We're going to be waiting for our pitch, and I'd swing it like something terribly out of the zone. I'd be like, oh mother f. Whoa, whoa, Marcelo Zuna. Shop and Brock alive. Uh, yeah, Guys, I, don't forget we do this every Monday night at uh, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or EDT at this point. Yep. Yeah. And so the archives go the, up on youtube.com slash that sports gamer usually the next day, but since Twitch to YouTube always takes forever, and then the little editing part takes a little bit. Uh, I say Wednesday just to be safe, but. Yep. So don't forget to give this this channel a follow. Uh, give a subscription to youtube.com slash thatsportsgamer. Ah, another crush to fall deep center. Frustrating. Frustrating. Uh, guys in the chat that you should probably follow or two guys have been talking the whole time, uh, Snake Doctor and Cardinal Bird 5, both excellent and will be the show streamers in themselves. Um, <laughs> TJ is putting out a ton of links right now that you can also do. I got your... Oh, I don't have the Twitch. Your Twitch it's there. Up as, yeah, but it's not showing up as a linky link. That's fine. Highlight and paste. Oh, because it had ad operations sports, and that's why. Oh, damn. Thanks, Nick. That'd be awesome. Oh! This Dude, I, I'm, I'm 100% getting in on one of those uh, home run derbies, by the way. I'm a home run derby freak. I love that mode. 
And then one day I want I want CB5 to stream him doing the challenge of the week because I got no idea how he does that well in that mode. <laughs> Every time you look at the leaderboards on uh, on challenge of the week, it's always CB5 up there. This guy's very upset that I swung at a 3 0 fastball with Joey Votto and hit pitching, him. Right. Like, he's pitching at you, he's throwing balls at you. I mean, you could follow Healy 6. Um, I highly recommend it. Good dudes. Yeah. Healy 6 is a great streamer, too. Healy, dude. What was I watching? Oh, man. I was watching him the other day. What the hell was he streaming? I believe he was streaming a video of him actually wearing some Healy's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, dude. Um, so we, Wait. So now should we all email the show at PlayStation.Sony.com? No. Uh, no. Because this guy is what we call griefing. Is he holding me hostage right now? I think so. That's two bean balls. And no, no, I, you'll get. Um, <laughs> I put up a. I put up a video. So uh, I put up a video of me getting pissed at somebody on a bunch of cheese. You'll so I beat him like five. I beat him like five times in a row. You'll get mercy. He'll get mercy ruled for it. Uh, Cardinal Bird is currently third on something. I don't know what. Steely Six has the video of the year. What is this video of the year you guys are talking about? By the way, Keely um, rebuilds the twins on one of his on one of his streams. Um, he also plays a ton of BR, but Overwatch. He plays Overwatch. I love Overwatch. So I bet if I throw one pitch at his batter, I'll get a warning. I'm up four zips, so I ain't going to risk it. Uh, I don't know. I th <laughs> I don't know what exactly. I think some of that might be. Uh, hostaging an account, like actually like hacking some guy's account and holding it hostage. I think that's might what that might have been. But who was looking for an outfielder with an arm? Jay Worth. Oh, Jason. Yeah. This is not. Not the, that was a nice play off the wall, by the way. This is not the cleanest start to the third inning. Healy. Um. Yeah. If, if you can't, I think it, I, other people can post links in here, right? I believe Healy can. Yeah. If Post not, the link, absolutely. If not, we can uh, we can set that up. <laughs> Don't you ever cap on me again, Healy. Battle. Ooh, best batting angle. BMO, who are you going to ask? Um, I play on Fisheye and love it. I'm an offset TJ guy. Plays, TJ plays an offset, yep. Um, I think CB5 and Snake are both uh, that strike zone. Stuff. <laughs> Strike zone guys, yeah. I mean, it, you really have to play a couple games with each angle and figure out what's best for you. That's a great thing to do in conquest mode. Hold on, I'm, I'm going to this YouTube link. I gotta see this. Logan's getting tired. This guy's just swinging at anything. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, come on, boy. <laughs> so... I just, first of all, I just subscribed to Healy. Um, so you're late on the game is what you're saying? Yeah. Oh! <sighs> but, uh... Yo, if you got Jose Batista and you just look at a slider right over the middle of the plate, just take a seat. Oh, S Snake says he's an offset zoom guy. So, there you go. He was, uh, I know, like I said, I think CB is a strike zone guy. Snake is an offset zoom. So. All right, two one. That's hilarious. The link that Healy posted, by the way, is the Hitler video that people post, but um, out in, like, he, he created the subtitles for the glitch, for the card glitch mm. that happened a week ago, or two weeks ago. Can I tell you, there's two Operation Sports ones of that, <laughs> of people calling me out for banning them from years ago. It's hilarious. Well, maybe you're the one that banned all these people from MLB. That's it, guys. I am the reason people are banned from MLB. That's that's just the way it is. I banned people from OS. I went to Sony and banned people there, too. Next up, I'm going down to Florida. I'm banning people from Madden. All right, folks. Joey Votto, two for two. Two hits, two home runs, two... He got more than two RBIs. Right? Yeah. Uh, player of the game. Kind of a beast. I thought you weren't hitting well with Votto. <sighs> Wasn't. Just like... Uh, Beltre, just got to come around. 
Uh, thank you guys very much for watching uh, Bullpen Banter tonight. As we said earlier, you can follow me on Twitter, at ThatSportsGamer. Uh, please follow the channel here. We would appreciate that very much. And by we, I mean I. Uh, also, don't forget the archives are up on YouTube.com slash ThatSportsGamer. Usually the next day, maybe the day after. Uh, Chris, please tell them about yourself and where they can find you. As you, uh, you can follow my Twitch at twitch.tv slash Operation Sports. Every Sunday at 1 o'clock, we do a Rockies franchise that you can control. I let the chat control the moves. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at MillenniumOS, two L's, two N's. Please ask questions about franchise mode. I have all the numbers permanently tattooed in my brain, so I love answering franchise questions. Yeah, we love uh, franchise. He loves franchise questions. I love Diamond Dynasty, or literally anything about this game. Uh, baseball, my favorite sport. Let's keep doing this. Uh, we're not making this stuff up, as we saw. Uh, underscore tips hit a grand slam with Justin Ruggiano mere seconds after I said you should probably pick up Justin Ruggiano. Uh, other than that, folks, please. We've uh, we've been here in this bullpen chatting it up. Uh, I see a man over there. He's tapping his elbow like this. You can't see it. Uh, but, yeah, get out of the bullpen. Get into the game. Go out there and win some dubs. Take some screenshots with the screenshot functionality and tweet them at us so we can retweet those. Uh, Stop using a, cell phones. If you take a picture with your uh, Motorola Razor, uh, I'm going to ban you and just pretend like you don't even exist anymore. Uh, but, yeah, thank you, guys. Uh, we'll be back again next Monday. Oh, Stay tuned to twitter.com slash thatsportsgamer to find out when we're going live next. I think Tuesday. Monday is the 4th of July. Right? That's yes, it plan. is. Our plan's Tuesday? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Yes. All right. Uh, yeah, so Tuesday, 10 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we'll see you guys again. Thank you very much. And... Uh